Um, earlier on this year, around about June, July, I got a chance to teach a class and it was basically about um, spirituality and creativity and my main point was um, understanding your creativity to a point where you get in touch with your spirituality or vice versa, understanding your spirituality to get in touch with your creativity and I got a chance to um, do an interview with um, different artists at the Castle of Good Hope and it was my first time going there can you imagine like yeah I'm from Cape Town and it's my first time going to the castle Yes, art is my life. I literally do this for a living. Um, there was a time where I was asked the question if money weren't an issue, what I would do with my life, and I said art, and it's something that I took seriously. And there is this thing where they, where they say, if you work on your gifts, they will make room for you. And ever since I started working on my craft, I've gotten all these opportunities, gotten to travel, and also meet these people. And as I have my exhibitions, it's very nourishing to me seeing that, okay, I've been working for a couple of years curating these things and they're on display I can get to tell the world my story which makes me feel good and also nourish the hearts and minds of other people through my artwork. Staying healthy and positive I think that's what motivates me to create. Um, it's my safe space, it's my therapy um, and creating those places that don't exist in reality. It's like these mini tiny sanctuaries so I like to sugarcoat the negative. So we all know like with um, skin color and uh, gender or race, it's such a big um, thing. People are always constantly be kidding about, I'm too dark, I'm too light, you to this, you to that. And at the end of the day, we all part of the same race, the human race. We all share the same oxygen, water, breathe the same, bleed the same, love differently. But essentially at our core, we all have the same energy source. We all have a spirit connecting us to the planet that we're living on. I mean, our source is all exactly the same no matter what name you give it. That energy that's allowing you to breathe and survive and live on this planet is coming from the same point. So I forgot what the question is. But, <laughs> but yeah. you answered it. Thank you so much. This is my new style because mostly I, 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 I work with skin, like mm. on skins, so I, I do like a detail mm. as much as I can. Mm. Then for hair and clothes and, and everything around, I like I use brush strokes. Mm. Yeah. So here yeah, I use uh, uh, what you, it's called, it's caterpillar. Yeah. This is called a caterpillar. Yeah, so caterpillar is it moves like up and down and and slowly. So it means that in life, like life is it's like it's, it's a long journey. You must not move like fast. Yeah, and then his life has up upside and upside and down. So we need to 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 understand that well. Right. If I understand the upside down so boom and then one if you don't move fast to some better So this is what I'm trying when I 
Motherfucker is insane. Just... First, this is an every, uh, everyday scene. The band is actually bad. Need to pass a You can see the background. Informal settlement and also then the other one about the guy like people don't dare cars but a big way we environment the right. Maybe you know, maybe you feel like in the old in Congo, yeah. So in that, 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 in appreciate the artist whose work is shown at this particular gallery. The visual artists are the way, the way and the truth. Without them, it will mean that we are seeing different lights, you know. So I'm happy to be here um, as a citizen of, <laughs> of this country. We need these initiatives. We deeply need initiatives like this where we see work that is produced by uh, fellow South Africans. Um, it is my wish to say that for every living being who is a creative, that one could survive or could live uh, through art. With your art, you could fend for your family. With your art, you could make sense and teach many other individuals who might not have an understanding what art is all about. With your art, you could express um, many voices that are silenced, you know, so through your work. Okay, everyone, can we please give a big round of applause to our facilitators for today's session. Cindy Lee is the principal of the Peter Club Art Center. You can do a lot of courses in drawing, art, painting, etc. And she, uh, I think you agree, she was an amazing facilitator for our painting session. And then on the side over here, very shy, please <laughs> come. I have um, Firefly Green from the Butterfly Art Project. She's with the project and she does amazing work with young people and art as well. She was facilitating our oil pastels um, on Fabriano workshop. And I think I could see everyone really loved it. Thank you both so much on behalf of the Cape Town Arts Festival and welcome. <laughs> So in the training manual that I facilitate, we do all the therapeutic activities with our kids. So kids that come to our center, the kids are in the fragrant area and they don't, some of them have never been to school, they don't even know what the pastel or crayon looks like. So we take them through a process of over eight weeks where we teach them, you know, when they eat our program, we, we set a rhythm for them. So we mostly stabilize them first. And then after the stabilization, we work with all the mediums and I introduce them to it. Um, so that's me. Our topic was peace and hope. Uh, I didn't really know where I was going, but I was composing my, my piece as I went along. Um, the colors that I used are rainbow colors, spectrum, light, because um, I feel like that's um, a good example for peace. It says here, I'm living in my sunshine. And then it also has writing of one of my poetry, which says, um, walk with me so you can find the path of righteousness to peace and love and happiness. So um, I'm also a poet. And these are just ripples that all come together. They're not really connecting, so you improvise as you go along. And it's a diamond. Two diamonds make, I mean, two triangles make a diamond, which is a, a diamond. Triangle is my favorite shape. So sorry. Then it says, Heal my soul, heal me, which is also the beginning of the poem here. Okay. So, the series, uh, I thought that I'm gonna put myself in the artwork. Mm. I'm really gonna put myself. And those ones, I was. I was just painting the feelings that I got. On this one, I put it my, myself in the artwork. While I was busy with the gangsterism, I, I lost a finger. 
Then now I have four fingers in my, in my hand. I see. So I put it. So, so this is the part that I, I put it my soul in it. I put it myself in it. So the next continuation of the, of my work have the hands, have uh, the blindfold in the head. So that's what you're gonna get. And and the holes and the, in the art, they represent the scars that I, I have, the pains that I faced in, 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 the, in the world. And now I'm about to, to cover all the scars up so that you know that you have the scars, but you can rejoice at the same time. Thank you.